Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you my uh, wardrobes or closets, um, unfiltered, unprepared, just completely as it stands in my uh, everyday life. Um, I haven't deliberately tidied that up or uh, you know um, sort of organized it in any way it is what it is but first of all uh, if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel it really means a lot uh, for me uh, to have your support and if you are a returning viewer I would like to welcome you back and thank you very much for your ongoing support um, so the reason why I'm doing this video is uh, inspired by uh, Jesse Stiles recent video uh, on the topic of uh, a detox luxury detoxing um, that is the current trend uh, amongst YouTube uh, luxury communities and in that video I'll uh, put the link down below uh, but basically um, you know Jessie talked about sort of her, her own perspective on this and different viewpoints and I thought I would just contribute from the viewpoint of someone who is feeling quite lonely because I've just recently entered this um, I guess you know hobby uh, of buying sort of luxury items and then everyone's leaving um, and I totally get it um, it's because the luxury prices has risen to the point that it is absolutely ridiculous um, but you know I still would want to enjoy sort of you know beautiful things uh, mindfully um, and I guess I'll just I guess put my perspective my own perspective into this uh, detox or decluttering trend um, I've not really done much in terms of a major de decluttering or detox and but I'm I'm constantly sort of reviewing items that I have in my wardrobe and sort of replacing um, you know or removing those items that no longer work for my lifestyle um, I like to keep things uh, very functional for myself so every single purchase I try to practice mindful consumption where you know I will only purchase things that would work with my lifestyle that I would actually make you know good use out of now first of all uh, I'll just explain my clothes and items are actually scattered um, around my house and that's that's for that's due to a very valid reason uh, it's not because I have so many things that I can't fit into one place um, but because of my work um, I do with my work when I, on the on the days that I do go to work I have to get up very early um, it's pitch dark um, I don't want to you know wake up my husband and my son who still co-sleeps with us um, so that's why I actually um, you know for my work clothes um, I have them here but I actually prepare what I'm gonna wear the next day to work in advance and then move them to a separate area um, which I'm gonna show you um, so that's why you know you know for privacy reason I wouldn't be sort of you know showing you my whole house but I'll kind of you know move uh, between different sections and let you know which parts are which so this is my walk-in um, wardrobe um, which I do share with my husband um, so you can see here um, that's my handbags um, you know my Ferragamo backpack, my Celine um, uh, crossbody bag, and my lovely Picotin 18 bag. Um, and then in terms of another handbag, I do have one here um, that I just perch on this chair. Um, that's my Marc Jacob tote bag. Um, now what I have here are my knits um, so I've got uh, my Garni knit my um, Dries Van Noten um, I think that's what's the what's the brand's called um, the cashmere grey sweater I have a uh, merino wool um, 
cardigan, black cardigan, um, a uh, sweater vest, um, a uh, Tommy Hilfiger, a very old cardigan um, that I don't wear as much, but every now and then I do still wear it, so I'm still keeping it at the moment until I find something that um, I could replace it with but you know it's still it's, it's a bit tight this is my pre-pregnancy era so probably more than 10 years old now this cardigan so the sizing is not quite right so I can only wear it when I'm wearing sort of not a lot underneath um, so I, I just find in with the season in Australia it's not very practical because we're either very hot or very cold. Um, so not much in between season. I have to say that, you know, I could, you know, wear this cardigan given how um, tight it is on me now. So I basically I have to either, you know, wear a very thin blouse, like a, a, a sleeveless, um, in which case, you know, it means it's quite hot and I generally don't need a cardigan. Um, I might just bring a scarf or something like that, like a silk scarf, um, you know. And behind it, I've got um, a black uh, jumper. Here, I'll just move that. So, oops. Um, this is a, um, a sachet with dried herbs inside. Um, so it just, you know, helps to repel any moths. A um, sweater top that is from 115 I bought on Farfetch. <laughs> Look, I have to say this is perhaps a little bit of a regret buy. Um, it is very thick and I've accidentally uh, washed it not very well. So it shrunk down a little bit. So that's... Look, uh, I'll see how I go this winter if um, if I'm not able to stretch restretch it back out um, then unfortunately I might have to donate this um, and then this um, I don't know what brand this is uh, because this was actually handed down to me by my mum uh, it's very interesting it's like a fish scaly type of pattern I don't, I don't know like I, I don't want to give it up because it is very well made and it's made in Italy um, it's probably more than like 15 20 years old now and it still looks perfect so maybe as I mature in my age I'll be able to use it so I'm still keeping this one uh, now this is oh that's an empty box um, I've already taken out the, the sweater from Hermes. I need to put this box to a different place. The uh, grey sweater I purchased uh, maybe one or two years ago from Farfetch. Uh, oh, it's from uh, J Brand. I love, love, love this sweater. Uh, it's a bit cropped, um, but yeah, it's. I really love it and am still making full use of it so definitely uh, it's something that I've been using quite a fair bit. Crop sweater as well from Farfetch that I've um, done an unboxing is by the brand uh, Elam. Um, love this jumper again I'm, I just bought it maybe I think it was one and a half years ago so I've not had much time with it but I'm loving it um, the last few times that I've worn it. So I'll just shove it all back in and I'll just organize it a bit better later. So these are all my knits. Um, this is my jewelry um, drawer, which I'm sort of gradually doing those um, jewelry collection videos. So I won't, I won't show that one, just underwears, my husband's, myself in some yeah, socks not very interesting and I won't bore you with those now you might ask what all these over here <laughs> um, I'm a hooks girl you, that comes out very wrong but I like to put hooks uh, on the wall to um, organize my um, 
clothing um, that I'm actually wearing. So I don't like, you know, uh, I've gotten used to not washing after everywhere just because it really destroys the garments and it's not really necessary especially if i've just used it for you know a short time going out and um you know they're still pretty clean um so but at the same time i don't want to sort of mix clothes that i've kind of worn once or twice already back into the clean pile um so that's why i kind of you know leave the ones that i've sort of you know worn out once or twice and you know not ready for washing yet so these are the so I just put a hook and then just you know hang up those clothes there clothes that I'm wearing and this is the Hermes one which um, is on the hook and not in the box um, that's why the box is empty and here the same with pants um, so my one and only denim shorts from Magella, um, Mason Magella, and uh, my black pants, cargo pants from Zara. Um, I think it was like a cropped, cropped cotton pants um, from Zara, and my one and only uh, white pair of jeans um, from Jacob Cohen. Um, so it's my good pair of jeans um, so yeah so these are the items bottoms that I haven't um, needed to wash yet but I have started wearing here I have my uh, longer pieces um, and should I show you yes I did say I'm not gonna cover anything so um, that's my PJ pals okay and in lounge wear pals uh, again not exciting um, I'm one of those girls that wears um, clothing that is a bit um, seem better days um, to sleep or you know just lounging at home when I'm not expecting anyone to, to you know to to visit the house um, you know, they're, they're, they're like clothes that I would not dare wear outside. Um, you know, they might have holes and, you know, lots of uh, peeling and just really out of shape. But, you know, they're, they're actually the most comfortable clothing if the material is made in, uh, in cotton to sleep. I don't know if any of you out there understand what I mean, but yeah, really like, you know, those those really out of shape and washed many times items are the most comfortable cotton tees to wear to sleep. Um, so here I've got um, my, as I mentioned, my longer um, items that need the whole sort of length of the wardrobe. Um, so this is a, um, this is a bath robe that was gifted um, by a friend um, so haven't used it because that was last Christmas but I'll definitely be using that um, as the winter time comes hopefully um, from Calvin Klein um, now this is my beautiful wool um, skirt um, by Stella McCartney love love the color and this one is a gray colored uh, wool skirt uh, it's from MRZ um, so again these are the sort of newish items I bought from Farfetch over the past two or so years um, and then this is my one piece wool dress um, from eh, I never remember the brands um, of these things. Uh, Chinti and Park. There we go. And this is a very nice sage colored ribbed uh, one piece dress. Again, in sort of wool by the brand, there was one. Um, then this is my half skirt um, pleated. Um, vegan leather look 
I have to say, like after a, I've washed it a few times, it's not very well pleated anymore, but it still looks fine, and I still quite like it. I think this is from Mason, yeah, MM6, Mason Magella 6. Um, so that's that. Now, then I've got this black and white um, pants, very thin. Um, it's Henrik Biscoff. I've got my uh, linen skirt, my Tommy pleated skirt, uh, my shirt dress, my um, slip dress for wearing skirts underneath, another dress, and my recent purchase, um, the mess. Um, Dress that's still in the dust bag, and then moving on to my pants session. I do have a lot more pants, um, and I just basically separate it according to colors. So I've got my white pants, you know, beigey colored, uh, another pair of white pants, you know, some beigey color. Um, my linen pants, my uh, blue jeans, one single pair of blue jeans, uh, my blue cropped pants from Zara, my short one only pair of uh, more of a dress of shorts, a squat I guess in a way, uh, a short squat and uh, yeah, work pants basically few work pants um, so really I've got no need to buy more black pants I think I've definitely got enough and then now to my blouses uh, which are down here um, I've got my cami one single cami I don't wear cami a lot I don't even know why I bought a cami I guess just to try don't really like wearing it not find much use of it at the moment but you know it's good to have one just in case um, my tank silk top for wearing underneath, you know, more sheer items. Make you know, silk um, top from Lily Silk, which I am looking to replace because it's really out of shape now. After after a few washes, it, it just look a bit raggy, you know. Which is why I mentioned in my previous video, I, I don't get what was the hype about Lily Silk because it really hasn't worked out for me. Uh, maybe you're not supposed to wash it, but it did say that it's washable silk. Um, so, you know, if it's not washable, then at least, you know, say so and then I will only, you know, wash at my own risk. Um, and then, yeah, my tops, shirts. Um, so, I've got my white tee, my top blouses, my purple blouse, green blouse, brown blouse, my um, Sandro uh, sweater top, one and only sweater top, and then I've got more um, blouses. Um, I think yeah, because I do wear a lot more blouse at work, so that's why I've got more blouses. Um, and then my tunic tops for more winter months, um, for under sort of under layer um, layering, and then yeah, basically shirts, button down shirts. I have a few um, white button down shirts uh, that I wear to work. And yeah, some grey tunic for sort of for different matching if I need to. Um, sort of for the more winter months and the black merino polo polo top uh, and another black tunic. There you go. So is it excessive? I don't know. I don't think so in comparison to other YouTubers 
wardrobe. Uh, welcome to my bathroom. Um, yes, I keep clothes in my bathroom. <laughs> so these are the clothes um, that I'm planning to wear the next day to work, as well as my work clothes that I've worn once or twice. Um, and I'm telling you, I am a girl that likes to um, organize with books. <laughs> So you can see free hooks here. So it indicates how many times I've worn the pieces. And each time I've worn something, I move them along so that I kind of remember when they're due for a wash. Um, and certainly, you know, if the items are a bit more, you know, um, used and stained, you know, and I've, you know, sweated or anything like that, they go straight to the wash. Um, but otherwise, um, you know, I leave them here so that the steam um, as I shower on the other side of the bathroom will just cleanse these clothes and deodorize them if there was any odor. And it seems to have worked well for me. Um, so this is where I hang up, you know, the clothes I'm planning to wear the next day. Um, so I sort of do a mental note um, of, you know, I check the weather first of my next day that I need to go to work um, so I kind of choose the weather appropriate items and I basically place them on the hook um, and obviously I'm not wearing all these on the same day um, but say uh, to, tomorrow um, I've checked the weather it's not gonna rain it's not too hot but it's not cold either so I've decided to wear um, this newly purchased um, top from Claudie Pierlot uh, with a um, long skirt um, on the bottom. Uh, pretty monochrome. Um, yeah, I need to incorporate more color. And I think the reason why I'm so monochromatic is because my color palette is indeed true winter. Um, after doing the an color analysis um, and, you know, black and gray suits me. And that's why I like them so much. And that's why I have flows mostly in these colors um, but it is starting to get a bit boring to always be black wearing black and gray but now that I know my palette I know how to incorporate more colors in so I'm I'm slowly gradually looking at um, more variety of colors um, but uh, yeah I still gravitate to like this most recent recent purchase I still gravitate to gray and blacks um, but I do need to break out of it slowly and gradually um, I'm not gonna do them um, you know throw away all my blacks and grays uh, because they do work for me and yes there's a bit of an overbalance of these colors in my wardrobe at the moment but at the same time you know I can always just throw them on and they matches there's no clashes of color it looks chic because it's black um, and it looks good on my skin tone so yeah um, but I digressed yeah so I, so this is where I kind of yeah sort of organize my um, future uh, work wear um, over the coming days. I only do sort of plan ahead the night before. Um, so this is, yeah, this is what I'll be wearing. And you can see it's on the last rack, um, the last hook on the wall. So that means after tomorrow, these go into the wash. Um, and socks, I pick them up in advance as well and leave them in the bathroom so that I don't need to go back into my bedroom in pitch dark and fumble around and possibly wake up the rest of my family at ridiculously early hours. Um, so I try to be my mindful and not interrupt other people's sleep. Moving on to the next place. This is a cupboard outside my bathroom uh, where I store my belts I've only, and scarves. Um, so, you know, for when I also after I get dressed in the bathroom in the morning get ready um, if I need to accessorize this is where I come I don't hold other jewelry here um, and that's because I don't wear uh, you know 
jewelry to to work apart from my earrings and my usual engagement and wedding ring um my work just you know i shouldn't be adorning myself with lots of jewelry it just gets in the way of my work um so but belts and scarves here they are so i've got my uh belt reversible belt unfortunately from balenciaga i bought this before all the, that saga happened um so i guess i kind of forgive myself for wearing it because i kind of bought it before it all happened um it seems very awfully wasteful for me to just throw it out um, I know everyone has different feelings about it, but this is my stand at the moment. Uh, you know, I just won't buy sort of other things from them. But I got this before, you know, those things happen. So, um, yeah, until I find a replacement if I do, but it's not really on my highest priority. So that's my only thick uh, wider width belt. And here is my recent... Um, Hermes, the thinner one that I've um, shown on the video, um, heritage belt. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, please uh, go check out that video later. And my scarves as well as my um, bini. So here's my uh, scarf. I think this is actually from y YSL. Um, I didn't buy this. This is a hand-me-down from my mum. Uh, so I've um, sort of, yeah, wearing it. Um, it's a small, I think it's a small 70 by 70 or even smaller 45 by 45. Um, and now I've got my Garni beanie in light blue works for my color time and now I know why I liked it my Hermes um, 90 by 90 um, scarf again I've got an unboxing video on that one and my Trilly here in this box there you go you can see sorry for the shadow um, yeah. that's here and my trilly ring in this in this uh, place here so yeah so that's that's um, yeah so this is my um, corridor sort of storage space um, it's also where I store all my um, skincare and uh, samples perfume samples so that's that um, now what haven't I shown you so far um, you can probably guess it's outerwear so I keep my outerwear separate again um, it's because it's outerwear is a bit bulky and I don't have enough space in the walking wardrobe that I shared with my husband to put all my outerwear in so this is my um, outerwear wardrobe in another guest uh, bedroom so here's my Burberry trench coat so this is a scarf that is gifted by my friend um, it's a bit long that's why I haven't kept it in the other place but yeah maybe I should put it in the other place I don't know anyway I'll fi figure that out later and here's my um, blazer for work my Celine uh, vegan leather jacket and a Zara a Zara um, blazer coat many years ago a um, thin thinner cotton jacket and my Ralph Lauren uh, sort of jacket that's uh, got a hood and is water repellent so it's perfect for the weather season I think this is just a dust bag by from my Burberry trench coat um, now and I've got um, on the other side of the wardrobe uh, bigger pieces of um, outerwear so I've got a big puffer jacket um, it's 
handed to me by my mom actually. I probably that's why it's you know it's not in the color that I would have chosen for myself. This very golden color. Um, yeah. Look, I don't have. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll think about maybe give things this back to my mom if she wants it, or otherwise donating it um, when I find a different color puffer jacket. Uh, because really, yeah, it's not it's not the right color for me. Um, this is a little long coat from 20 years ago, I would say, um, that I bought uh, in Hong Kong. Um, I might let this go soon as well um, just because I've, I've put it into dry cleaning um, before and I think it's actually I don't know what they did with the dry cleaning in Australia I have to say like I, I, yeah, I don't know if any of you live in um, Australia Sydney and has a good dry cleaner please let me know uh, because I'm not I'm not being impressed with any dry cleaners um, this one I took it to the dry cleaner and uh, it's kind of made the wool turn more into like a felt um, so I don't know what they did like did they did they wash my my coat in water or something i don't know it's like made it a lot stiffer and a lot harsher it's not you know it's like as if all the all the uh, wool has been squashed down and um, it doesn't feel the same texture anymore so which is a shame but then again i've this coat has been with me for like good 10 plus years, if not more. Um, I think I've, yeah, 20 years or something like that really. It's my pre-pregnancy days. Um, you can see it's actually, you, know, you can see, yeah, the tag inside seen better days. And I'm pretty sure I've had, oh, yeah, there it is, a moth hole here on the inside as well there you go yeah i think it's a moth hole i don't know or something caught in it it does look like a moth hole um so yeah look it's, it's seen better day so i'm not wouldn't be very sad to let this go once i found an alternative um and i'm definitely not taking another coat to the dry cleaner i would just steam clean it myself um you know and air it out and then this other is a Uniqlo uh, puffer jacket again my mum um, purchased it it's in her color range um, but somehow I got it I think it was very cold and I didn't have a puffer jacket and so my mum gave it to me and said here wear this and I just she said it's too long for her um, so I've just been wearing it to be honest, I think this color is better than the gold beige one for a winter palette. Um, this looks a bit more cool, um, toned, um, almost, almost a bit, er, you know, er, almost erring on a black look. Um, very dark brown. Um, so yeah, look, I might just wear this for a little bit longer if I do need to. I don't know how. Uh, Sydney's winter is gonna go this year. Um, I have to say last year it wasn't cold enough for this like very long puffer jacket. I think you know just wearing my um, cardigans and um, woolen knits was enough like I didn't really need another jacket so you know maybe I don't need to replace uh, you know a puffer jacket says I have to have a pocket jacket I know that's like kind of the the standard to wear in Australia for winter like everyone walks out during winter in a puffer jacket but you know I really don't like the look of a puffer jacket it just feels like it makes me very big and bulky and you know it's hard to wear handbags um, you know shoulder bags on a puffer jacket so yeah so that's that's it um i've got my old sam rev bag and um long jump uh bag um at the bottom here there so yeah um and i've got 
<sighs> I've got these, um, I don't know, rag scarves that I no longer use. Um, look, I wasn't really a scarf person and the reason why I have so many scarves was actually, it's kind of funny, it's uh, during COVID. It's a time when I couldn't actually get um, disposable mask um, often enough, like it always runs out. And um, then I thought, well, then I think WHO released that you know any face covering like even scarf is better than nothing. Um, so Maya, like which is one of the Australian sort of department store in Sydney, had um, a lot of sales on scarves at around that time. So I just you know purchased a dozen of scarves to wear as face mask until I could buy disposable face mask. Now with um, you know with. Hermes um, silk scarf. I don't think I'll go back to these. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I don't know what to do with it. It just seems a bit wasteful to let them all go. Yeah, so it's kind of kind of taking up a bit of space in my wardrobe at the moment. Um, not a lot of space. Um, as you can see, I do have empty spaces. Um, it's not like I've, you know, not got enough storage space in the house. Um, and yeah, that's the other point. I think sometimes people feel like spaces looks empty, but you know, for me, I don't mind it. You know, I'm not trying to take Instagram photos of my wardrobe every day. And you know, for me, it's more about practicality and functionality and, um, Yes, it's nice to be Instagrammable, to have a very Instagrammable home, every single corner. But at the end of the day, that's that's not my job. That's not my, my life at the moment. You know, I'm not a full time uh, YouTube or Instagram influencer person. I'm sort of dabbling in and out, trying to, um, you know, do some creative content um, alongside a um, a job. Um, as well as looking after, you know, a young family, you know, so yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I think um, that's the point I want to make in this video that I think we're all trying to achieve perfection a lot of the times like now that the trend is more um, minimalism you know mindful consumption and um, decluttering um, that everyone's gone in a way to the extreme of having to throw away everything um, and I think you know, certainly, yes, if you've gone to over consuming in the past to the point where there's absolutely no space left in the house, um, you know, and it's completely invaded all your space, um, then yes, you do need to declutter. Um, but I think, you know, there is also um, value in doing decluttering in a more slow and mindful fashion um, because you certainly don't want to regret um throwing away things and then finding that you actually needed that item and then you go back out to buy you know a replacement um it just becomes a vicious cycle of consuming letting go throwing away consuming again and you know it actually is not good for the environment it's not good for anyone's well-being or your budget and everything so I think as with everything, in moderation is very important. Um, we should moderate how we uh, purchase, how we consume, but at the same time we should moderate how we declutter and throw away items. Um, so that's it from me today. I hope uh, you've enjoyed this video and thank you for staying with me until this time. If you've liked the video, please consider uh, giving a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Um, until I see you all next time, bye, take care.